Turn up the POS dial. It's time for some shitty games. Uh, you know, sometimes I try to find good games to review, and sometimes you get games that are so good, they don't need a two-minute drill. But sometimes you get games so bad that a two-minute drill doesn't cut it. It's a piece of shit. I wouldn't be surprised if this game is another movie remake, but the premise of the game is that this doctor was working on a medical treatment for burns, then some mafia or something I didn't really pay attention wants to come in and blow him up, then he gets burns himself, and then he becomes... Mummy Dried Shishio-sama. It's a Rurouni Kenshin reference. Now, if you haven't been adult to this point, the control in this game is a disaster. It's an abortion. The game has this stupid balancing mechanic, I'm not talking about balancing character classes, and it's 80% luck and 20% skill on the tightrope. Fall off, and it's gonna be game over, man. And another thing, like you just saw, you can't run and jump at the same time. Platforming 101, boys and girls, you have to get some distance between you and the jump, but that doesn't freaking help when the platform box is cut short. You fall through the pipe! Through the pipe! Now you're gonna land on a tiny moving platform that you're probably gonna fall off of, and god damn it, I hate that shit. When you have a platforming game like Mario Brothers, it's understanding that the controls are a little slippery because the game's from 1985 and it was a revolution in attempted platforming. For Christ's sake, you'd think after five years in 1990 we'd learn our lesson and learn how to develop a platforming game. No, 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 says the big shot in Hollywood. Make the biggest turd we can and turn a profit. <laughs> Now, combat is fairly straightforward with these plain enemies who look like a thinner version of Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force, mixed with the guy from Deus Ex Human Revolution. If you time the button presses just right, they don't have the room to attack. Get it wrong, and you could be pushed off of a platform. Now, that was a fairly short level, was it not? Well, this next part is fucking retarded. If you like memory games, this will work well for you. you. Hop onto a platform and press the corresponding button to go left, right, or down. Get it wrong? It's game over for you. Get it right, and you have a very good chance of falling off one of the cliffs. Again, I figured the game would be somewhat redeeming with a possible better second level, but no. No, no, no. We've given them too much credit. Instead of playing a memory game with me, let's design better levels that make me feel like I'm part of the game, you know? Furthermore, why do they always make these Hollywood remakes so effing retarded? So now that we're done with the memory game level, you'd think level 3 is a possible improvement on the first one. I mean, look, there's more spinning gears, the music sounds better, and there's only one enemy. How could this get any worse? I'm not sure what this red bubble here is for, but this jump looks deceptively simple. And what the hell is this shit? No platforms on the bottom to jump down, and we might as well call this the tightrope of broken promises. I mean, seriously, what asinine developer would think to put such a level in a video game to test my patience? We're supposed to be having fun here, gentlemen. Wait, wait. Oh no, you didn't. Your bitch ass just didn't. This stupid game just sent me back to the beginning! I swear to freaking god if this continue button doesn't work. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this cartridge against the wall. I am so freaking glad I didn't pay $50 for this back in the day. What a colossal waste of time. So let's go over what makes this Hollywood remake a complete and utter piece of shit. The controls are slippery. You can't run and jump like in a proper platforming game. The platform boxes are cut off to a particular point and mislead you to thinking you have more room to jump. There's part of the background that looks like it's a platform and when you jump you go right through it. The platforms are too small. The memory game is bullshit. This game is bullshit. The tightrope of broken promises is bullshit. The IRS is full of bullshit and I'm not giving this game another minute to piss me off further. Stay away from it. Darkman for the NES gets a 42.8 out of 100, making it the RGN 23rd worst game of all time. Find something better to do with your time than this failed flip dog turd.